So this has already been going on for a few days now, but I decided that I really want to make a video about it because I found out about it yesterday, but yesterday was Bobby Kodak's final day of leaving Blizzard, so I had to make a video about that. But, you know, I really want to make a video about this because I'm a massive fan of anime. Um, as you can tell in the background like of my videos, like I've got the complete box set for the manga of Tokyo Ghoul. I've got Berserk manga down here. I've got a fucking Bo Hancock... Um, figurine in the background too so like i'm a massive fan of anime you know i'm in the middle of watching one piece i'm off to wano i've been uh, it's it's real I, I fucking love it but jesus christ for me who's hopeless at watching shows it's a it's a track to get through and a half so i definitely fucking love anime so this is 100 something that i i want to make a video about and this is about the whole localizers getting replaced by ai now a localizer is basically someone who will translate the anime from japanese to English for the dub. I'm not 100% sure if they do the subtitles as well, because this is mainly just talking about the dub for the anime. It's not really talking about any of the subtitles. There is a big chance that they probably do the subtitles for the anime as well, but it's more focused on the dub. Now, the reason why these localizers are getting replaced by AI is, is many reasons. One, it'd probably be cheaper for these companies, you know, where they don't have to hire external people to do their job. But the main reason why, at least from what we're all seeing, and the main reason why a lot of people are happy about this happening, is that these localizers don't necessarily just change, just like translate it from Japanese to English. They will translate it from Japanese to English, and then also change some of the wording in the Jap in in their in their own versions in the dub or in the subtitles if they do subtitles as well, but mainly in the dub to fit their own agendas. And that is fucking why so many people are fucking happy about this. Because let's be honest, when it comes to, pe to AI replacing people's jobs, majority of the time, if someone's doing an actual good job when it comes to their job, and if it gets replaced by AI, people will be annoyed. People will be like, this shouldn't happen. I feel really bad for all these people that are losing their jobs. They shouldn't get replaced by AI. But if, if they're doing a fucking terrible job, if they're not doing their job correctly, or if they're trying to do it how these motherfuckers are doing it, then people are going to be happy about it. But the localizers sure fucking aren't. And the one that's been infamous, and I watched the video on this, I watched Asman react to uh, someone's video that was originally made about this, and he's like followed it a lot, is this lady right here named Katrina. She is a localizer herself, and she's also given examples in the past. I'm going to put this up, and this was her initial reaction to like the AI coming in to like replace these localizers. And you can fucking tell... That this bitch is not fucking happy. So here she goes on. She says, I don't have words for how embarrassing and disappointing this is. No, it's not fucking embarrassing or disappointing. You know, they're using AI to get a mediocre product for free. Now, the one thing that I will give her here is that the product that the AI will do, probably at first, because AI is still really early in development. Let's just, like AI, as much as it has developed a lot, it does make mistakes here and there. But the thing is that, I'd rather get a mediocre product from an AI and them slip up on a couple words than you putting your fucking agenda in, into my animation, into my anime. I would 100% fucking rather that. Machine translations isn't smart enough to handle audio visual work like TV, movies, anime, manga, etc. I wrote an essay about it back in January 2021, but the fact remains even now in 2023. Audio visual translators are already criminally underpaid both due to the intrusion of machine translation in the fields as a whole i really wonder if creators know just how badly ai mangles the words they've created well you know what that's absolutely fucking fine i'd rather have once again i'd rather have the ai mangle my fucking words than you fit in your agenda in it and let's look at some fucking examples so this is her right here this is one of the ones that she's she's worked on right here here's an example i am unfortunately just see that unfortunately why are you working on something if you don't even fucking give a shit or you hate it doing some of my finest localization work in the anime about the high school girl who was legitimately sexually attracted to a corgi it's anime come on i'm sorry i yeeted you this is like some millennial ass fucking shit i'm sorry i yeeted you are you like that no that is not some of your finest localization that is some of the worst worst fucking subtitles worst dub i've ever seen in my goddamn fucking life i'm sorry i yeeted you this is like those millennials who try to fit in with gen z 100 fucking percent that is literally what this looks like where you know so they go oh hey kids how's 
how's it how's it how's that hanging it's a pretty fucking poggers day today it isn't it yeah yesterday i had a very yeeted day that's legit what this fucking shit sounds like it's absolutely fucking horrible here's another one of her replying to obviously another localizer backs out of a room slowly with hands in the air to show i'm not armed the one time i saw a fat joke about a young female character that was thin by yes western standards i changed it to a joke about her poor taste in wardrobe it was for a volunteer project so nobody noticed 10 out of 10 if the joke was just to show she's awkward and nobody likes her perfect no need to keep stuff like that in it doesn't matter about your fucking agenda your whole point of translating is to translate from what the anime was originally saying to english it's not about to fit your fucking agenda it doesn't matter about the western standards this isn't a fucking western animation this is anime this is japanese standards it doesn't matter about your fucking agenda it doesn't matter what your feelings are your job is to fucking translate it from japanese to fucking english one of the worst ones and this is like an infamous clip of infamous one and i didn't even know about this until like fucking recently and this the thing about this one is that like this one isn't even like you know offensive in any ways like at all like yeah calling someone fucking fat whatever like honestly i don't give a shit but i can see why other people would give a shit you know fucking people who you know get uptight about almost anything but right here this is the subs so this is this is literally like the worst example of localization why it's good that they are getting replaced with these ais is that right here the sub says what's with that outfit so this is from an anime called miss kobe Yars, uh, dragon maid i've heard of this anime before i've never watched it but i definitely have heard of it so turu comes up and she says what's with that outfit um the girl replies to her saying everyone was always saying something to me so i tried toning down the exposure how is it you should try changing your body next okay big shit that's there's nothing wrong with that and in the funimation dub fuck me they translate it saying what are you wear what what are you wearing that for that one's fine that line's fine i don't get why you couldn't just say what's with that outfit um you know and then instead of saying something, it says, all those pesky, patriarchal, societal demands were getting on my nerves, so I changed. Give it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. What in the fuck? And you can go and search this clip up on YouTube as well, because I remember when I was watching Asman's video, and even I was in the same boat as him, where I didn't believe this was fucking real. I was like, there is no way that something this blatantly fucking stupid was real those pesky patriarchal societal demands are you fucking for real like i can't believe how fucking bad these localizers are trying to fit in their fucking stupid agendas like it's not even your anime you didn't create this your job is to translate it from japanese to english not to fucking change some of the wordings but things are like shit like this has been going on for a long long time like people don't realize how long a lot of these a lot of this shit has been going on and it's not just wording as well back in the day four kids four kids is infamous when it comes to this shit really fucking infamous to when it came to like more of the not just the audio but also the visuals of anime as well they would completely change the visuals of anime so have a look at this this is um from the uh, and, and one of the like most infamous is from one piece i watched the whole video once about how like four kids changed one piece like completely they, they even cut episodes out to the point where like it didn't even make sense like the whole anime didn't make sense because the amount of episodes that they come out so this right here is a scene um earlier this is like what like the first like few episodes i can't remember exactly what episode but this is like in the first like within like the first few episodes of one piece and oh, how do you say his fucking name how open I, I always fucking I, I always butcher his i always forget how to say his fucking name but he's supposed to be holding a gun to kobe's head and threatening to kill kobe after like luffy beats the shit out of morgan and he's just like i'll blow like kobe's head off or whatever i can't fucking remember what it is instead they change it to this stupid motherfucking contract what is this that he's holding like what kind of fucking contraption is this that does this doesn't even fucking make sense doesn't even stop here they changed sanji's smoke to a fucking lollipop a lollipop and then they also like it, it wasn't even just like one piece because i want to get to another one piece one but that's the worst one and i'm gonna re overreact to it i know 
They even changed some of the foods. And they did it in One Piece as well. But this is like here, an example in, po in Pokemon, where they changed rice balls to a fucking sandwich. Why? What, we, you don't eat rice in the US? You, we don't eat rice in the Western world? Rice is fucking amazing. The fuck is wrong with rice? You gotta change it to a fucking sandwich. But the worst one of them all, they covered up Robin's boobs. They, they covered up Robin's boobs. What? How dare they? How, how dare they? How dare they cover up Robin's boobs? Look at this. Look at this absolute fucking disgrace. They, they, they covered up her tits. That's the worst fucking thing that they could have done ever. My favorite, one of my favorite characters. And what do they do? They butcher it. They absolutely fucking butcher it. How dare they do this? Like I've said already, I'm glad these guys are getting replaced by a uh, hundred fucking percent. No wonder why. Like, I can't believe that what, how, like, I don't get why they, they are mad. What part of your brain doesn't understand why people are happy for you losing your job? You, you've tried to fit in your woke agenda so many fucking times. Of course people are going to be fucking happy about you leaving. Of course they fucking are. No one wants to give a shit. I, I'm not a political person. I've stated this many fucking times. I, I honestly fucking hate politics. So I don't want to be sitting there watching a fucking anime and then some fuckwit from the Western world, some stupid localizer goes ahead and fits in some stupid fucking patriarchal like agenda into my anime. It's like, I, I don't, I, I'm not here to think about the patriarch. I'm here to, you know, watch Luffy kick Kaido's ass or watch an anime about a chick who has nice tits. That, that's, that's all I fucking want. That's it. I'm here to watch, a, 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 you know, a dragon maid. That's it. You know, I, I don't care about some fucking patriarchal bullshit. I'm here to watch a dragon maid. Uh, I'm here to watch fucking, you know, One Piece. Uh, like, it's just fucking stupid. It, it's absolutely ridiculous that these people, like, don't understand why they are losing their jobs. And we're all happy for them. Me included. I'm fucking glad. But let me know what you guys think about this down below. That's it from me. Peace out.